This is uh, Saturn, the magazine of science fiction. This magazine was started in 1957 by Jules Verne. If you don't know who Jules Verne is, he's the guy who wrote the book uh, Journey to the Center of the Earth. And I think he, I'm pretty sure he wrote a couple more books. But uh, here we go. Got the lady going on with the red and blue motif. <laughs> you know, same old song and dance. But this is what caught my attention was this old magazine that was started around 1957. And you got a head. This is like the face on Mars. You know, I don't believe in coincidences, man. There's a lot of shit that we do not know. Yeah, he wrote another book called Around the World in 80 Days. <laughs> Secrets entrusted to a few. The unpublished facts of life. Oh, look at that book. Oh, look at that symbol on there too. Gee, imagine that. Got some alchemy things going on in the background. Spider web. You know, hourglass represents time. And this thing is what people use to navigate with a map. I can't remember what it's called. But what's this uh, article for? Oh, look, it's the Rosicrucians. Wow. This was a recruiting tool, I imagine, back in the 50s. Funny. Ooh, look at that. It's a big cube-looking thing. It's following this guy who looks like a dressed like a space Nazi <laughs> oh man these old magazines man and old books you'll find a lot of shit that'll just make you laugh if you know what if you study the esoteric uh, knowledge also uh, this caught my attention you got some spaceships flying and look at that you got a I mean, what it, I don't know what else to call it, a UFO coming out of a horse, a Trojan horse. The, my interpretation of this, this is going to be the, the final the final card being played is the fake alien innovation. I mean, they're telling you in a magazine that was written in 1957. I mean, what else could it represent? There it is, the spaceship coming out of the horse, the Trojan horse. Yeah, I knew there was something more going on with Jules Verne. That name sounded really familiar, but I couldn't couldn't uh, put the name to the face. But now that I've seen his face, I I remember him. He also wrote the book uh, uh, Twenty Thousand Leaves Under the Sea," and uh, he he. Uh, he was a big he was a big time insider. I mean he uh what else did he do? I mean you can pretty much see what all the books that he's wrote right here. Jules Verne wrote a novel called Paris in the 20th century about a young man who lives in a world of glass skyscrapers, high-speed trains, gas-powered automobiles, calculators, and a worldwide communications network. Like I said, there's so much that the average citizen does not know, but they knew that they were going to have all this shit 100 years before it happened. I mean, Nikola Tesla had the, had the concept of the Internet in the 1880s. I mean, he transferred the world's first uh, picture overseas from somewhere on the east coast to London or something like that I know my cities are off but he did transfer a picture from one place to another that's the basic you know basically what we do nowadays but I'll leave the link so you can go back and check it all out <laughs> 